Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Box, the Detective Trader, DetectiveTrader.com. It's the 30th of November, last day of the month. Tomorrow's December 1st. One month ago this year, it's been a hell of a year. The market rallied again today to new all-time highs. And the technicals weren't bad. So let's take a look at a lot of the stocks that we're looking at today uh, on the long side. We are limited. I have put out another short today. There are still some stocks that look really good short. But for now, start off at ACBFF, the Aurora Cannabis stock has been very hot of late. At the big run last year, and then a long base, this stock broke out in early November. It just ripped from two and a half all the way up to, at some point, a week, well, like three days ago, 686. And then came down hard this morning to as low as 478. What a reversal though, up to six at the close. This was a day trade. Worked out very well, as you can see. Popped out and ran from about the 570 range all the way up to that six, 605 area at the close that I said was your day trade. But with that kind of reversal engulfing bar and volume picking up, I think this stock has a shot at testing and probably taking out seven with a target around eight, eight and a half. ARDM popped out of its wedge today. This is a stock that's been basing for a while. Nice pop. And um, although it didn't hold the highs, I think the stock has a chance of extending. Tomorrow's an important day for it. We need to follow through. I want to see it above the final range with a target of about 5, oh, 65, something like that to test this high up here. <clears throat> Collegium. Well, after the big run and the pullback, it held and tested and tested. Today it popped right back up again, a dollar forty or eight point nine percent. Eight hundred thousand traded a pickup and buying, but not enough. I, I do think this stock will retest nineteen, but eventually, I'm looking for this stock to make it into the mid and then high twenties. Good looking chart. Twenty two point four days to cover, folks. Cool. Well, after spiking up to the highs from August, double topping and then pulling back on a nasty day yesterday, but it was on much less buying. Today it snapped back and reversed. Now it didn't, um, it, it didn't basically have a lot of volume. So we still got to watch today's low, which was right on the 50-day moving average at 25.74. The low, the low today was 25.64, right there. And let's see if we can get a follow-up. Right now there's resistance at 29 three quarters and then 31 and a half. My target 37. 3.6 days to cover. CRC, as you can see, these oil stocks did well today, but this one in particular, which had that big run up and then wedged, boom, popped out. Didn't close great, but it was still up 83 cents or 5.6%. Two and a half million traded volume picked up. That looks good. I think we're going to retest 17 and three quarters and head to 20. 12 and a half days to cover. EDIT, nominal new high. The highest level it's reached is back here in June of 2016, almost a year and a half. So with that kind of a base pattern, this can support a big move. I would now look for this stock to make it to about high 30s, but let's look for 33 first and test that top of the channel lateral price resistance. 4.9 days to cover on that one. ERII with a pop near the top of the channel today, jumping another 65 cents or 6.14 percent on 800,000. Fine was the biggest in a month, so that's a good sign, but it may have to pull back and consolidate. However, the targets are 12, 12 and three quarters, and then we're looking at 15. 21.3 days to cover, huge. ERX, as proof of what the oils are doing, the ERX ETF triple bull for oil held support on the pullback, ran right back through the moving averages today, got right to resistance and closed there up to 35 or 4.6 percent. I'm looking for this to make a move to 32.2.5 and, and then 34.5 zone. Inspirion, one of our old swing trades, continues to push higher, up another 289 or 5 percent. Not a lot of volume, but I think that the top of this channel may be matched or tagged. At 67.8, that's my next target. Seven days to cover on this period. How about, how about the move today at home? Bottom line is a pop breakout. And you can see the big, big volume today took this stock way up above the double top. So and with a close like that, I'm expecting it to accelerate at some point. If it pulls back and consolidates in the 26.7 range, I'll take it. But my target's going to be low and then mid-30s. Four days to cover on that one. Swing trade IS, INSM is up against resistance, but it looks like it reversed today and may be coming out of this wedge. Keep a close tab on it. It jumped up 187 or 6.4%. I'm looking for a pop and a run to the mid 30s. LABU with a really nice close right after the declining tops line at lateral resistance. Strong 589 or 8.5% today. 
volume is sell at 1.4 million, the biggest in two, three weeks. If this pops here, look for a test of that declining moving average as early as tomorrow, and that comes in at 78 and a half. So that could be as much as three and three quarters or four points tomorrow morning. If it really runs, look at 82.3 again. If biotechs are going to move, Dave, and this is the bottom of the channel, this looks awfully good for an intermediate term move into the 100, 105 range. That's what down the road a bit, but if biotechs move, that could happen. <clears throat> Mark, finishing a wedge, it appears. It had a nice reversal day today. I'm thinking this stock pops, breaks out, runs across 10, and runs into the 12, 13 zone. MLNT, right up against the resistance zone that's been thwarting it for about a year. You can note that the um, 17 and a half resistance zone was tested today. And it backed off the 17 up to $1.80. But with volume like that, that's the biggest volume in a couple of months. I'm thinking this stock's going to make a run at 22, 24, six and a half days to cover. Another junior oil I like is OAS. The leg, legs one, two, three, and four. The fifth wave may have started with a pop out of that falling wedge. And the target's 11 and a half, 12 and three quarters, 13 range. 5.4 on that one. Swing trade PSTG after coming off resistance pulled back and reversed today up another 82 cents or 4.6 percent. 7.6 days to cover. I think this one's going to continue. I'd like to see 21, 22 on it. And Riot may have reversed today. We'll see. The volume isn't big enough and the price bar wasn't big enough. But I would put a stop under today's low of 12. And if it runs, the targets are 17 and 21. Sangamo. Long term swing trade doing very well from this April, May, uh, May, June period continuing. Although we had a pretty nasty pullback here, it resurrected the trend now. What we will be looking for is how it reacts when it gets to 17. Through that is 20, and then 24. 4.3 days to cover. Tilly's, an explosive move today. What a great day trade that was. Let's look at it. Popped, pulled back, held support. We gave you a day trade on it. Went from 15 and a quarter to 16 and a half. Beautiful. Now, on the daily chart, closing at the high end of the range on a bar like that, with volume like that, I would imagine we're going higher. There's a little bit of resistance here, but the targets are 19 and 22. Three and a half days to cover. Viking Therapeutics, I don't talk about this much, but it looks like this reversal bar, engulfing reversal today. Watch carefully 320. If this gets to 320, 25, it probably has a good shot at running up towards four and three quarters, five, so that could be a great swing trade or day trade. V-Ray, getting ready to flag and pop out of the flag and reversed a little bit. It was up 39 cents or 4%. It just feels like if it breaks, takes out this high, it's going to be a $12, $13 stock. 14 days to cover short. Sure. Veristem broke out today. After it popped out, it flagged. Today was a breakaway gap, and it closed above the 50. Looking for five and five and three quarters next. XOMA Zoma, uh, that's our last stock for today. You can see the long pop wedge breakout rising channel. Um, after reversing a couple weeks ago, it's come right back up again. I'm now looking for a take out of that area. Any move above, say, 33 could get us to this high as 39.40. This one good looks powerful to me. And that is it for tonight, folks. Have a good evening.